Accordance 10, First Look. This podcast, number 77, is at the basic level. It requires no knowledge of Accordance Bible software, nor Hebrew or Greek. You have been so patient. You've read our Twitter feeds, our Facebook posts, and the Accordance blog. Well, the day has finally arrived. We released Accordance 10 this morning. It features a brand new interface, dozens of new and improved features, and six new collections of modules. Accordance 10 for Mac is available right now. It requires an Intel Mac running OS 10.6 and above, and yes, it is both fully Lion and Mountain Lion compatible. Now, those of you using Windows will have to wait just a bit longer. That's because for the first time ever, we will have a native Windows version. That's right. We've been working on it secretly for a year now. Accordance 10 for Windows will be available in 2013 with all the features of the Mac version, and it will not require a Mac emulator. Ready for your first look? Let's go. Here's a sample workspace from the Accordance 9 we've all come to know and love. With the library window arranged on the left, the resource palette on the right, and the instant details window on the bottom. And now here, wait for it, is Accordance 10. Accordance 10 features a new unified workspace, a customizable toolbar, detachable instant details, and an improved integrated library window. And that's just the beginning of the list of improvements. Let's take a closer look at each of these four features. The unified workspace is perhaps the most obvious of the changes in Accordance 10. It's been a big request of our users. Basically, it allows users to move all the parts of their workspace simultaneously, especially when moving to different monitors. Resizing the workspace to different resolutions is now a snap. Just click the Expand button, and the workspace expands proportionally, maintaining the relative position of each of its parts. Returning to a smaller monitor is just as easy. Just click. Those of you with MacBook Airs and large monitors on your desktop will really benefit from this change. One of the places we've been able to save space is by eliminating the resource palette. It's been replaced by the new toolbar, which can be hidden or revealed with a single key combo, Option Shift Zero. The toolbar is also customizable so that users can place their most commonly used actions right at their fingertips. Use the contextual menu, control click, to open the toolbar preferences. Now let's add a few icons. We'll choose the Atlas and a couple of others. We'll close it. Now look at how fast it is to access the highlighting pop-up, or open the Atlas, or for that matter, open and close Instant Details. Speaking of Instant Details, it's now on the bottom of the workspace where it can be hidden or revealed with a simple click on the toolbar, as we just saw. It can also be moved to the right side of the workspace. There, its header is automatically moved to the top. We also know that some of you have your own unique uses for the Instant Details window, like supersizing it and giving it its own monitor so that you can read entire articles instantly. Well, we've got something for you, too. Instant details can be detached from the workspace by clicking here. Users can then move it wherever they'd like. Dismiss it and recall it to reattach it. And by the way, while we're covering instant details, let me point out a few other little differences. Notice that Instant Details in Landscape Mode now has columns to make reading long text easier. We've also upgraded all of our key numbers text to better dictionaries. The Hebrew key number now links to the Kohlenberger Mounts Hebrew Dictionary. While the Greek key numbers link to the Mounts Greek Dictionary. Both offer dramatic improvements over the older Strong's dictionaries. The library window has also received a major facelift and additional functionality at the same time. Recent modules appear at the very top. Each module now appears with its full title, not a short code, and more information about each one is available by clicking the information icon. It looks like an eye 
and it's located just to the right of the title. We can also now search directly within modules in the library, just as we used to do in the resource palette. Simply select a word or phrase and click the new Amplify icon to the very right of the eye. The same is true for a module within a folder or a subfolder. We search it like this. Users with very large libraries will appreciate the ability to manage their collections with the new library filter controls. Each offers a different way to view the library and its contents. Text, background, recently opened, tools, my stuff, and show all. New Accordance 10 collections. Along with Accordance 10, we're introducing six new collections. First up is the starter collection, an introductory bundle for the budget-minded. Next is the Bible study collection which allows users to study the Bible in English using key numbers and selected resources. For those with knowledge of Greek and Hebrew or the desire to learn, we offer the Original Languages Collection, everything anyone needs for first-year Hebrew and Greek and a whole lot more besides. Moving up the ladder, there's the Essential Collection, a combination of the Bible Study and Original Language Collections, plus our Timeline, Atlas, and Photo Guide. The Advanced Collection offers even more resources. It's designed for working ministers or other professionals. And finally, the Ultimate Collection is a superb library with premier tools and the very best value we offer, the equivalent of over $17,000 worth of books and print. And, of course, all these collections include Accordance 10. For a convenient comparative chart and pricing, use this webpage. Seen enough? Ready to upgrade? The Accordance 10 Bible Software Program is only $49.99. However, as we just said, it is free to anyone buying any of our new Accordance 10 collections. Check out both possibilities here. Bought Accordance 9 after May 1st? Well, congratulations. Your upgrade is free. Just order it using the discount code 10 free, written just like this. And by the way, bought Accordance 9 in the few months since it's been available in the Mac App Store? Your upgrade is also free. Wait for it, we've already submitted Accordance 10 to Apple for approval. Just as soon as they finish it, it'll appear in your update section. Want to learn more? We've just scratched the surface of Accordance 10's improvements, but a complete list is available online here. Current Accordance 9 users will want to see just the new features Accordance 10 has to offer. While those new to Accordance may prefer to see a complete list of all its features. Whichever category you find yourself in, future podcasts will cover new features like flex searching, automatic context, and the new pop-up picture navigation window. Of course, the best way to see all the improvements in Accordance 10 is to buy it and try it out for yourself. We think you'll be just as excited as we are. Windows users, thank you for being patient with Accordance running under the Mac emulator. In just a few months, your reward will be at hand. We'll be releasing Accordance 10 for Windows. It's going to be great. This has been Dr. J for Accordance Bible Software. Thank you for watching this episode of Lighting the Lamp. Mm -hmm.